How to access local host of Linux subsystem from Windows. I am using Windows 10 and I have Ubuntu 16.04 installed as Linux subsystem. I am running a Rails app on port 4567, which I want to access from Windows. I know an approach of using IP address, but ifconfig didn't work. I tried running slash spin slash ifconfig. This outputs a warning as warning column cannot open slash proc slash net slash dev, no such file or directory, dot limited output dot. I searched in internet, came across this open issue. So is there any alternative feasible solution? The answer to this is surprisingly simple, which is why searching isn't giving you the right results. All that WSL does is provide a translation layer between the Linux apps and the Windows kernel, very much like how Wine works on Linux. Because of this, some core parts of the Ubuntu system are just not there, networking being one of them. WSL translates the Linux system calls into Windows 1 so the Ubuntu network data flows through the exact same TCP IP stack as the Windows data. In short this means to access the Linux localhost you just access the Windows 1, they are the same. Localhost column 4567 or 127.0.0.1 column 4567 will do what you want. As an aside I've been using Rails on WSL, it seems to work perfectly except the swing and listen gems don't play well, I had to disable them. I needed to access my WSL hosted port from another device in my LAN, for example for mobile development, and I found it on Turlamain's answer I didn't help for that. I needed to set up port proxy, and I found that using connect address equals localhost or, connect address equals 127.0.0.1, did not work for me, WSL2, Windows 10 20H2. So I still needed the answer to the ops question, and it turns out it's surprisingly simple. Startup WSL Output like, 172.10.200.10 Note, you have to trim whitespace if you're using an inline in a PowerShell command, for example. Accessing WSL from your network. The op asks about accessing WSL from Windows. If you want to also access it from your private network, you'll also need to, one time, Make a firewall rule allowing a specific port, or a range of ports. Warning sign, warning, do not turn Windows firewall off. Make a rule to open only specific ports that you need. PowerShell is admin. Note. Locale port 19000 to 19006. Replace the 19000 to 19006 with the ports you need. Profile private, so that the ports are only open in network that you've marked as being private. Direction inbound, means inbound, ingress, only. Display name myro name blah blah dot 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 comma is for you, human readable name. But pick something you'll remember, because you can use this name to find the rule in the future, to view its status or to delete it. For example, get net firewall rule, where object, dollar underscore dot display name match my role name dot. Old question that was bumped today via another answer, so I'll chime in. This question was originally asked for WSL1. While the answer is the same for WSL2, there are some slight differences that need to be addressed. First, on WSL1, as the original accepted answer from 2016 mentions, the network is really running on the Windows host interface. That's why localhost slash 127.0.0.1, .0 .0 .1, 
or the address of the window's NIC, works there. WSL2, on the other hand, runs virtualized, so the network interface is a VNIC with a different address than that of the Windows host. That network is actually NATed behind the Windows host. This is also why you can access a WSL1 instance using the Windows IP address from another machine on the network, but no so with WSL2. But WSL2 does have a feature known as local host forwarding which makes it work like WSL1 for localhost slash 127.0.0.1. This feature is turned on by default, but can be disabled, although I don't know of any reason for ever doing so, honestly. This feature allows you to access a service, like a Rails app, in this question. If the port isn't in use on the Windows NIC, then WSL2 will auto-forward the localhost request to the same port on the WSL2 VNIC. So all is well and good, and you can access both WSL1 and WSL2 services via localhost, right? Not so fast, unfortunately. Sometimes, as two other answers have mentioned, localhost forwarding breaks. We've identified two very common, and related, use cases where this will happen. When the host windows is hibernated, when the host Windows is powered on using Windows Fast Startup feature, which turns out to be enabled by default. This feature uses a form of hibernation. The solution is Don't hibernate if possible. Turn off Fast Startup. You'll find it in the control panel. Navigate to Hardware and Sound in GT, Power Options in GT, Change what the power buttons do. If you do find yourself in a situation where the feature is not working, as at Omnex answer mentioned, you can typically recover localhost forwarding by exiting all running WSL instances, issuing WSL shutdown from PowerShell, CMD, or even the start menu. While a full Windows restart will have the same effect, a WSL shutdown is much faster. Restart your WSL instance and running services slash apps. Reference the comments on this so answer which have confirmed the issue and solution. As a temporary solution, if it stops working on WSL2, you can just shut down WSL and run it again from PowerShell or CMD. I don't know why, but it somehow fixes this problem temporarily. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.